Well, good morning from the top of Carter Dome. It was that windy all night last night and uh, managed to get my gator hooked under the side of my tent this morning and tear about a six inch hole in it. So that's fun. Needless to say, between the aquarium smell, the innumerable number of tiny holes in the floor of my tent and now the six inch in the side. Oh, and the Frankenstein bug net. I think my $300 Gossamer Gear tent will be going in the trash when I get back, which is most unfortunate because it is in fact an expensive tent. I like the inside of it, but it's just straight up not durable and it hasn't been durable for months and that makes me really sad. At any rate, um, we have to do 14 today to get into town. We've got beds at the Libby uh, House AT Hostel Barn tonight again. And uh, there's a all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet calling our names or, you know, something along those lines. So hopefully today will be a little bit easier. We should be getting some views once we get to Mount Height, which is our next mountain. And uh, I didn't pack enough water to dry camp last night, so I was thirsty for most of the night last night. Didn't really sleep well. Um, I woke up pretty cold this morning, so can't say it's been my most auspicious start to a morning. Oh, and in one day, my ankle brace, which I need to add extra stability to my sprained ankle right now, actually caused a blister on the back of my ankle. And um, I can't say I'm the most pleased about that because, you know, my feet actually have been doing amazing. I've hiked, you know, over 1800 miles now, almost 1900, zero blisters um, on my feet, which is an accomplishment in my opinion. Um, only to end up with a blister on the back of my ankle from an ankle brace. So, oh well, is what it is. Also, there's a great view. So we're coming down from Mount Height right now, and I think those might be the best views we've gotten in the whites the entire time we've been in the whites. Beautiful 360 degree views from the top of the mountain, and uh, it's perfectly clear today, like literally not even a cloud in the sky. We could see back to Mount Washington and um, the ridge walk between Washington and Madison, and we could see back to the other mountains that we've been climbing, could see back to Carter Dome where we started this morning. So this is really, really pretty. And the only, th the only bad part about it was I couldn't stand up in the wind up there because it was so windy. It kept knocking me and snapshot off balance. So ended up departing the mountaintop a little sooner than I would have liked to use like that. But it was really pretty and 10 out of 10 recommend. Although the, to say the trail maintenance is lacking on the way up and down Mount Height would be a very kind way to put it. So watch your head on blowdowns. <laughs> And be prepared to uh, do some finagling of mud puddles. It's so clear, it's incredible. And there's the presidential range, Mount Washington's over there. We came from Mount Height on the right, and Carter Dome was where we camped last night. And we are headed for middle carter mountain right now but it's gorgeous weather just a little windy but man i am a little jealous we didn't get to do the prezies in this <laughs> nice good slide you got this bubba yep. <laughs> beautiful oh, yeah. yes Woo! Woo! Just another rock scramble in the whites. The good news is only some of these are wet and we have great views. There you go, ye oldie butt scoot. Scoot in boots. Use the trees, Luke. Use the Luke trees. <laughs> nice, this is going swimmingly. I like 
Thanks, sweetie. Beautiful. Fabulous descent, gentlemen. I feel like today is just one big, long, ridgeline rock walk. We keep going from one slab to the next, which seems like it would be easy, but you have to walk a really weird way to make sure your shoes keep traction. So, can't say it's my favorite thing we've done. Can't say it's my least favorite. We do have good views from up here, that's for sure. So the line of rocks right there is called a scree wall. Basically it just means it's a fancy way of stay off the alpine grass. <sighs> Essentially it's a big rock slab so sometimes you don't know where to go and that's one of the ways like Karen's, which there's one right up there, that help you know where to go when you're up here and what to stay off of. to believe we're even still in the way so the trail looks like this